In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria Calculate Simple Interest in Multiples of 5% on Amounts of Money. You can locate the questions on the MassMath.com website under Level 1. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here is the first one. Denise starts up a business making candles. She borrows £2,500 for one year. The interest on the loan is 5% per year. How much will Denise pay back in total? So the amount she borrowed is £2,500. So I'm going to represent it here. And the interest on the loan is 5% per year. So we'll add 5% here. So 100% amount. If I split this into five equal parts, one of these divisions from here to here, that is equal to 10%. So this is 10%, this is 10%, this is 10%, and so on. 5% will be half of the 10% amount. So if I work out 10%, then I can just half it to get 5%. Why 10%? Because 10% is easier to work out. Dividing by 10 is easier because you knock off a zero. That's the point of it. So 10% of 2,500 that is worked out by going 2,500 divided by 10, which gives us 250. So 10% 10 is 250. 5% is half of that, so 125. So now that we've got the 5% amount, we can just add it on top of 2,500 to work out the amount that Denise will pay back in total. So that is £2,625. A man puts £3,000 into a savings account. The interest rate is 5% per year. How much will the interest be for the first year? We'll again use the same method as we can't use a calculator. So the whole amount is £3,000. We're working out 10% and then 5%. So this would be 10% of 3000 we do it by dividing 3000 by 10, which is knocking off a zero, so that gives us 300. So this one here is equal to 300 pounds. 5% is half that, so half of 300 is 150. So that's the interest that they will get for the first year. And that's the question. How much will the interest be for the first year? £150. Hanifa put £960 in a bank account one year ago. She gets 5% simple interest each year. Is there enough in the account to pay the £1,007? You must show you're working. So this links to a previous question where she needs £1,007. But that doesn't matter. What matters to us now is that we work out what adding 5% on top of 960 gives us. If it's £1,007 or more, then we can say yes. If not, we're going to say no. So we'll work out 10% of 960 by doing 960 divided by 10, which gives us 96. So 5% is half of 96. 
So 96 divided by 2. How many twos fit into 9? That is 4. And we have 1 remaining. How many twos into 16? That is exactly 8. So that gives us 48 pounds. That is interest. So 960 now. Add 48. Gives us 8. 6 and 4 is 10. So 0 down, 1 carried over. 9 and 1 is 10. So this is 1,008 pounds, which is 1 pound more than 1,007. So we're going to say yes. Now we'll move into the calculator questions. Joe has borrowed £1,125. While Joe is at college, simple interest is added to this amount at a rate of 5% per year. Calculate the total amount Joe will owe after two years at college. So the rate is 5% per year. As this is simple interest, over two years that will be 5 and 5%, which is 10% of the amount. So that would be the shorter way. Of course, if you want, you can work out 5% and then 5%, which is absolutely fine. But it's simple interest, so it doesn't really matter. You can add the two percentages. So that's 10% of 1,125 that we're working out. You know, 10% means 10 out of 100 of 1,125. So with a calculator, I can do 10 divided by 100 times 1125 gives us 112.5. And you should know this because you know how to divide by 10. So it's 112 pounds and 50 pence, which we're going to add on top of the 1125 pounds because we're looking for the total amount that she will pay back. Lining this up correctly, but we can also work them out with a calculator. So this gives us £1,237.50. Andy buys a new kitchen. The kitchen costs £5,000. Andy gets a two-year loan to pay for the kitchen. He pays simple interest on the loan at 5% per year. How much will he have paid back in total after two years? So again, 5% per year. Over two years, that will be 10%. So we're working out 10% of £5,000. Now, you know, that is just 500, knocking off a zero. Or you could go 10%, so 10 out of 100 of 5,000 using a calculator, which still gives you the same answer, 500 pounds. So, again, we're working out the total amount, so we're going to add that on top for 5,000, which is 5,500 pounds. Customer needs to buy a washing machine. He wants to pay monthly. Two different shops have the washing machine he wants. Browns, with a price of £470, pay monthly offer. Interest is 15% of the price. Pay the total amount in 10 equal monthly installments. First installment must be paid today. Then we have HS, Home Superstore. Price £525, pay monthly offer, interest is 5% of the price, pay one third today and the rest in four equal monthly payments. Work out which offer is cheaper and by how much. How much will the customer need to pay today? So looking at the first one, interest is 15% of the price, so we'll do 15 
out of 100 of 470 which is 70 pounds and 50 pence so that is the interest which we need to add to 470 and that gives us 540 pounds and 50 pence So this is split into 10 equal monthly installments and the first installment will be paid today. So that will be 500 pounds and 50 pence divided by 10 which is 50 four pounds and five pence now looking at the second offer the price is 525 and we've got five percent interest so five percent five divided by 100 times 525 gives us 26 pounds and 25 pence now we'll add that to 525 which is 551 pounds and 25 pence one third will be paid today so we're going to divide this by three and it's 183 pounds and 75 pence so which offer is cheaper and by how much comparing them 540 pounds and 50 pence and 551 pounds and 25 pence so the first one is cheaper so that is browns is cheaper by how much let's have a look so we'll do 551 pounds and 25 pence minus 540 pounds and 50 pence which is 10 pounds and 75 pence amount to pay today with this offer that we've chosen which is the first one that is 54 pounds and five pence what is the interest paid on 2500 pounds at an interest rate of 15 percent that is 15 percent so 15 out of 100 of 2005 so 15 divided by 100 times 2500 gives us 375 so that is 375 pounds a woman wants to buy new kitchen units for 1800 pounds the shop offers some plans for the customer to make equal monthly payments the woman wants to know how much her monthly payments will be if she pays for the units over two years. What will the monthly payments be? Show your working. So the cost is £1,800. Then we've got interest, which depends on the number of years. Two is here, 
two years. So that gives us 15% total interest charge. So we're working out 15% of 1,800 pounds. So that is 15 divided by 100 times 1,800 and that gives us 270 pounds. So that's the interest that they will pay on top of 1,800 pounds. So we're going to add that. And that gives us 2,070 pounds in total to be paid back. She will pay them on a monthly basis. So two years, 12 months in each year. So there will be 24 months. So 2,070 divided by 24. gives us 86 pounds and 25 pence. That will be the monthly payment. And this is the end of the questions.